about to start Skokie Loop. Let's see how much a bag weighs. 27 pounds plus five pounds for the camera and tripod. Long way up this fire road. 8K, 500 meters elevation. No views. Bunch of horses here. Well, there had been some bear sightings. I'm basically just walking through Lake Louis Ski Resort. There's a lodge there. That's Temple Lodge and the ski run there. And then heading this way up to Skokie Lodge. And then there's a whole ski run there behind me as well. made it to Hidden Lake. It's only like 6.15. I definitely made way better time than I was expecting. And I'm just gonna eat. This is so easy compared to squeezing it. And all I had to buy was this little blue coupling. So for dinner I brought a gobbler from Trailhead. It's like a turkey sandwich. saves me from boiling water and it's cheaper than a dehydrated meal. I'm uh, making some apple cider and have some beef jerky and some blueberry acai chocolate things from Costco. So it's 8 p.m. It's, it's been raining a little bit. I just set up my tent and I think I'm going to go to sleep. raining for the last 12 hours. It's kind of snowing now. I don't think it's staying yet. It's not quite cold enough, but I can see some light on the ground. I'm gonna stay in here for a bit until it stops. I only have like 5k until the next campsite today, so I can wait it out. It was still snowing a bit. The mountains have a pretty good layer of snow on them now but definitely low visibility. Starting to clear up a tiny bit. A lot of snow now in the mountains. Ten thirty, still snowing. Well, it started snowing a lot more now. 
can't see the mountain anymore. So it's around 11, still snowing. I was hoping it was going to stop and dry off a bit, but looks like I'm gonna have to pack up a wet. So I'm just gonna make lunch now. I already ate breakfast, so I'll just eat lunch and then pack up and then head out. Just so much snow. It clears up so fast, like five minutes ago it was full on white out and now there's like a big section of blue sky. View from my campsite. So far my new trail runners are doing quite well. It rained all night, snowed all morning, and it's still pretty dry out, but even if there's a tiny bit of mud, it's not too bad to go around. We're just carefully stepping through it. Wow, there are so many larches here. This is so nice. that's just turning yellow, so you can see a bit of green left. There's a couple of pikas squeaking over there.
currently backpacking way out of cell service, but with the new iPhone, there's a satellite option so I can connect. I'm in the middle of nowhere, no cell service anywhere near here. And it shows you where the sally is, so you can point it at it. You see. And after a few seconds it connects and then I can text message, I can send my location, and I normally use a Garmin. Oh, I just gotta point at Sally. I normally use a Garmin, but it's pretty expensive and this is free, so I'll probably be using the iPhone from now on. View of Baker Lake. I'm just checking the sun's position with my app, Sun Surveyor Light, which shows the exact position in the sky of the sun at the time. So I can see that the sun's still gonna be above the mountains around 6.30, which is good golden hour sunset time. So I'll probably come back to this spot and get some nice sunset shots. So there's a lot of sights because I got here pretty early, but these ones are pretty exposed to the wind. So I picked this one that's being blocked by the trees and I made sure to not set up in this low area that had a puddle of water. And then this spot has some water, so I set up in the middle where it'll be dry. Not a bad view from my campsite. There's a porcupine in this campground that goes into people's tents and eats cork. And I have cork poles, so I built a wall. It also will eat like shoes, sweaty clothes, and rubber. I found a weak spot at my wall. I need to find another rock for there because it'll come eat this. Come on in. These just have the sling bag. And the sleeping pack. Just a little bit of space. Clouds are kind of crazy. Hope they're not rain. Cool, it's 
kind of like a natural dam. These like big rock extension things. Tonight, trying Kung Pao beef. See how it is. So the Kung Pao beef was, I'd say average, like five out of 10, and it was really spicy, so I don't think I would get it again. So windy stuff. Start a bit. It was extremely windy overnight, but luckily my bag stayed up. It's super windy, so I'm just gonna pack up my tent and start hiking because you can't boil water when it's this windy. The flame just blows out. Bit of snow last night until on the mountain. So it's 8.40 and I'm all packed up and I'm heading out of Baker. Still a bit of snow. path is pretty muddy this whole way. Just all of a sudden turned super mossy. Kind of fungus or something. A tree fell. I wonder if it was from the windstorm. First water I've seen all day, so I'm gonna fill up here for making lunch. The other thing that this attachment is good for is you can screw the Sawyer in the opposite way and then you can squeeze clean water through it to backwash it instead of bringing the syringe that backwashes it. So it just saves care an extra item. And it needs to be backwashed every few liters to keep the flow rate up. So, making pretty good progress today. I started here at Baker Lake and it's almost 12 and I've made it all the way over here to Red Deer where I'm just making lunch near the stream and then I'm going to continue down to Merlin Meadows here. So it's about 12k or 13k today and then here's the whole loop. 
where I started. First yellow dots hidden like campground, first night, Baker Lake second night, and then Merlin third night, and then back on the fourth day. Maple and brown sugar oatmeal. It's been snowing for like five hours on and off, but which is probably the most it's snowed right now. It's about five degrees, so it's melting pretty quick. It's not staying, but better than rain. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in onto this and compare it to the iPhone five times. Pretty cool weather. It's been snowing so much. But it's like eight degrees, so nothing stays. This is Oyster Peak, which I wanted to climb yesterday, but it rained too much and I don't have time. This is Fossil Mountain, which we just walked in between Fossil and Oyster from Baker. So at Baker, this was on the left when I was heading out. And this is Skokie Mountain. Here's a better shot of Skokie Mountain. Walking around it, heading around the right. How did this one random tree grow this big in the middle of a field?
never really seen mushrooms out here before in the Alpine. huge mushroom. We're in a little section of a huge decline. Two very recent trees that came down. I wonder if it was from the windstorm. Another huge one's down here and like there's honestly like no way around it. I'm gonna have to break the branches off here. I thought I'd been following horse tracks this whole time, but what if someone put horseshoes on a grizzly bear? The first mountain view in like three hours. So I made it to Merlin Meadows and I saw zero people hiking either direction today. I hiked from Baker Lake, took me Maybe like six or seven hours. It's four o'clock and it snowed most of the day, but the sun's kind of out right now. So I'm gonna set up my tent and make some dinner. No bear lockers at this campground either. So gotta use these bear poles again. Well, there's no tent pads here at Merlin Meadows, but this spot looked pretty good, nice and flat. I'm super happy with these new trail running shoes. They're the Hoka Speed Goat 6. I've been wearing them for three days now and my feet have stayed dry. They're super comfortable. They handle a little bit of mud decently well and I hiked through mud literally all day today and I somehow got it all over my pants but the shoes have done quite well in the mud. I think I'll be wearing trail runners from now on unless I'm doing something with like deeper snow or super, super muddy, then I'd use my boots. morning. It's a bit chilly last night. I had to put my puffer on. I checked the temperature at 2 a.m. because I realized 
I had forgotten to put the filter in here and if it's below freezing this filter would get destroyed but it was about one degree at 2 a.m. so luckily I got the filter in time before it froze. It's like 7 30 a.m. sun's just rising and I'm gonna pack up and head out today about 15 kilometers. Well it definitely went below freezing last night the ground's completely solid my thermometer in the tent says minus one and it would have been at least a degree or two colder outside probably because it doesn't get as cold in the tent as it looks like maybe four or five other people came in last night after I went to bed. Okay, it's 8.45 a.m. I am all packed up and I'm leaving the campsite. And still below zero, frost on the ground, hard ground, so kind of nice to walk on. There's a frost. Skokie Lodge. Just past Skokie Lodge, took a right at the lodge to take Packers Pass, which apparently is a lot nicer than going the lower route, Deception Pass. Well, that is quite a tree blocking the path. Really nice. All this frost on my tent still. So there wasn't any trees I could hang this off of easily without climbing back up. So I just set up my tripod and I'm just filtering the water by hanging it from it. So the key to this is to have a tiny, tiny bit of air that can come in so it doesn't create a vacuum. Otherwise it stops filtering. If you do it up too tight, this is what happens. So it looks like according to the map, I'm gonna be going up this road. So that's Ptarmigan Peak, Pika Peak, and then the Wall of Jericho. And then behind me is Skokie Mountain. And then to the side is Fossil Mountain.
apparently I have to climb up one of these channels beside the waterfall. Came from way down there.
Okay, I made it to the far end of Myosotis Lake and I'm heading up in between the two lakes now. That that point it that I pointed to from the bottom. There's just a line of a few large trees up this pass. In a huge area with nothing. It's the lone large tree you could see from the bottom. Coming up the pass, almost to the top. I just finished Packers Pass, it's like 2.30, and I'm on Deception Pass heading towards the parking lot. Still about 9k to go, so I gotta pick up the pace. See this top of a ski lift. Just past Hidden Lake Campground and filling my water for the last time and then I will be heading down the fire road. back into the ski resort. There's a run there on the left. There's Lake Louise straight ahead. There's Temple Lodge behind the trees there. And there's a lift. And 3k of this. Okay, made it back to the parking lot and it was 46k total. It's about 6 p.m. and let's see the final bag weight. 25 pounds, so that's including camera and tripod, not including phone. 
ate all the food except for one backpacking meal.